Hello everyone, this is Jason, once again with Inkspit Designs, here with another tutorial for you. I had a request from a, a listener, a, a viewer, Robert. He wanted to know how to take a, a vinyl decal like this one that you do, a multicolor decal, um, specifically two layers, and how to actually cut it out to, to go through the final process of cutting that out. Now I had another video that I did showing uh, doing a multicolor vinyl decal like this, but I didn't show how you actually went through the output process and cutting it out. So I'm going to show you in the software uh, how to go about doing that. So you can take it from start to finish from creating something like this with a an offset path type effect and uh, with, with two colors at least or even even more you can do as you know even more and how to actually output it. So say we have our design finished here and as you can see there's two colors here uh, black and yellow and these actual diamond shapes up here are just for ease of use of actually um, layering the, the decals on top of each other. So if we look up here in the layer, layers panel, I have these two layers that I'm working with, uh, black and yellow. If I turn off the yellow layer, I get just, just the black decal. And if I turn off the black, you can see that I have the underneath uh, layer of the, the yellow and I actually have a copy of the diamonds in yellow as well. It's very important to have um, a copy of these diamonds on each layer that you want to cut out. So we'll turn both those on, uh, and with both of them selected, we have our, our shape or our size that we want. We're going to come up here in Illustrator and use the Cutting Master uh, plugin. Send to Cutting Master 3. And this is what I use. We're just going to hit continue because there's no updates. This is what I use because I have a GraphTech uh, vinyl cutter. And uh, this is specifically what Robert was asking about how to use was Cutting Master. If you use a different kind of cutter, there's probably some type of a plugin. Um, there's Roland plugins or others that work with Illustrator. So it'll be very similar. You just have to look in the settings for something similar if you're not using using Cutting Master like we are here. Okay, so we open this up. It opens up in the plugin and we can see our, our design here. We've got the yellow outline and the black and this is exactly how it'll cut with our diamonds. And there's lots of different settings in here and we might dive into some of these other ones later. But the, the main ones you can see, we want to make sure the rotation's right. It's facing up and down. If, if your design is sideways, you can come down here to the rotation and uh, choose the other, you know, choose another rotation to make sure you got it facing the way you want or the way that's most optimal for, for even saving the most amount of vinyl you want. Um, so we're going to come over here, and as you can see these blue lines, you might be wondering what those are. Those are the weed lines. So if we come into our sec second option here, it says show weed border. I'm just going to turn that off for the sake of not confusing you, and we're going to turn off the weed lines. Um, weed lines are just for ease of use when you're actually weeding the vinyl. It makes it a lot easier to work with. So we've got our design here, and the option where we're going to uh, look at these settings is this second to last one here. It'll say cu configure cut job, and you can do it a couple different ways. You can do it by color, and if we choose that, you see we got the the black and the yellow here. And if I turn off one of these check marks here, I just get the yellow. And if I turn off the yellow one, I get just get the black. Um, you can go by that way. I always, almost always do it by layer. Um, if we look here just above in our layers palette, we look before we see the yellow, the yellow and black layer. And I name those. You actually have to name them yourself to keep them uh, in order or however your naming scheme works. But I do it by layer, and I've got the black layer and the yellow layer, and it does the same thing. Um, what we're going to actually do is we're going to turn off that yellow layer, and we would actually come down here to send. And once everything is configured here for our cutter, it's ready to go. We would actually just hit send, and we would have our black vinyl lo uh, loaded inside of the vinyl cutter. And it would actually cut it out just like this with the black diamonds and the black graphic. Then we would load up our yellow vinyl, come right back over here to the same place where we're at with our layers. We would turn off that black layer turn on that yellow layer and we see the same thing here we got the outline of the the yellow and the gold or the yellow and the the diamonds up top here come back over to our vinyl or our cutter it's ready to go we go ahead and click send and cut out the the yellow and just like I showed in that other multicolor um, how to do a multicolor decal you'll see the diamonds at the top all you do is layer them onto each other um, and you're good to go. But all you need to do is remember to come in here to this section of the Cutting Master plugin and turn on the uh, the appropriate layer that you want to cut. And if you're doing three or four layer decals, you would just turn on them one by one. Just go down the list, cut out the proper color with the proper uh, the proper layer, and you're good to go. You're all set to go. 
All right, so that's how you actually output the multicolor vinyl decals and are able to layer them on top of each other and make it look good. And that's that's how it's done. All right, thank you, everybody. This has been Jason with Inkspit Designs. Follow us on Twitter, on Facebook. All of our links are in the description of this video. And we'll see you next time.